Ice is water and ice is a solid, and solids are made up of tiny particles which are rapidly vibrating, like these foam plastic beads in a loudspeaker cone. Heating a solid is like putting more energy into the loudspeaker. The particles move around more rapidly and take up more space. This is a liquid. We say the solid has melted. More energy, faster particles, some of them leave the container, fly off. The liquid is evaporating, maybe even boiling. We now have a gas or vapour. If we heat a chip of ice, the same kind of changes occur. The particles are too small to see, but right now they're gaining energy, moving more rapidly, spreading out and taking the shape of the spoon. More energy and the water is evaporating. The faster particles are leaving the spoon. Now water is boiling, forming an invisible vapour, water vapour, and leaving the spoon quite empty. Where does this water vapour go? The water evaporates not only from spoons, but also from pots and pans and puddles, and from rivers and reservoirs, and from lakes and oceans, and goes up into the air as invisible vapour to join the vast amount that's already there. The total amount of water vapour and clouds surrounding the Earth is enough to make more than a million cubic kilometres of water. And every year, about half a million cubic kilometres of water goes up into the atmosphere as vapour. Every year, about half a million cubic kilometres comes back to Earth as rain, ice and snow. That's enough to fill a small ocean. So water goes backwards and forwards between atmosphere and Earth constantly. This is called the water cycle. I'm not afraid to